I promise to tell you a story about the artist who gets it wrong regarding sound checks, but the sound engineer gets it right. I should tell you about this artist. Let's say it's a girl, and her name is Lettuce. Yeah, we go with Lettuce. So Lettuce Rice was booked to do a gig and um, I was at the gig as a Millicent, I was at the gig and I was at the sound check and um, the organiser came up to me and said, have you seen Lettuce? And I goes, no, no, I haven't seen Lettuce. She says, oh, she's supposed to be here for a sound check. I go, oh, I don't know, I don't know where she is. Um, so I had my sound check, I'm cool, I'm coach, you're fine. Anyway, um, that was in the afternoon and then in the evening, and the guests are already seated, they're already there, you know, everything's going on really great. Lettuce walks in. I mean, she walks in with her equipment. Big smile on her face, like, she's cool, yeah? And she comes up and she says hi, we say hi, 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 and uh, everything. So I, I, I didn't say nothing, you know, I just thought I'd just leave her to do her thing. She goes over to the sound engineer. She explains who she is, and you can see on his face he's not impressed. <clears throat> and then she's like giving him a CD for the backing track, and she's talking about mic settings and stuff like that. And the poor sound engineer is sweating, and I mean sweating. So, anyway, I thought, okay, let me see what goes on. So, when it came for her to go on stage now, she went up there, she said, well, I've come to do a song for you. In fact, I'm going to play two songs for you, but there's been a problem because um, my CD doesn't seem to be working in the desk, so I'm going to have to do this without the backing track. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking, I bet it's not that the thing can't be working the thing. It's because you didn't come here early enough to sort out your things. And if you'd come here early to sort out your things, you'd know it ain't, ain't going to work. When she comes down, I say hi, we say bye, and she goes back to her business. And I thought, hmm. I wonder if I should just be a good sister and say to her, you know what, you know, you should really make your sound check and that would have sorted the problem out. You know, and I, I can't remember if I did say that to her, you know. But anyway, there's a second gig came up. She's booked and I'm booked. And Lettuce, again, no sound check. She went there. He starts, Lettuce is going to the sound engineer to sort out her stuff. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. Why is she, what, she, wait, this is the way she rolls. And true to form, things didn't work. I'm like, God, grief. Does a girl not learn? Hadn't she learned her lesson? So this time I did sort of drop a little hint to her. I said, yeah, you know what? You know, sound checks are a good thing to do. You know, it can solve some of these problems. She goes, yeah, yeah, I know, but I, I couldn't get there because, and she gave me some hard head and cold fat business. She gave me some excuse about why she couldn't make there. And I thought, okay, okay, let's leave it. And you know what, guys? I don't know what you think of these two stories. I don't know if it's that's your experience or whether you think or agree with me, but for me, I think there's three lessons you can learn from this. One, don't reel and come again. What I mean is, don't be like Lettuce who do it one time and it's wrong, do it a second time and it's wrong, and think somehow your sound engineers are going to sort you out. It ain't happening. You should book your sound check. You should be prompt to your sound check. You should start out all your technicals in your sound check. That's what a sound check's for. It just makes the job of the sound engineer so easy. Second point is this. Don't make your sound engineer look bad when you couldn't be bothered to make a sound check. Okay, if you came to the sound check and they messed it up, if you came to the sound check and they were at one and the sound engineer fell down, fight fair dues. But if the sound guy is there, or girl, is there and you can't be bothered, don't go on the stage saying, <coughs> this mic ain't working properly. <coughs> Can I have a bit more? <coughs> nah, you're letting down the audience. Don't do that. And my third point, be professional. Be professional, be planned, be there, be polite. Don't give the sound engineer a hard time. Poor man or woman is doing their job but you messed up. So please, to be a successful artist, you don't want to be the artist who get the sound checked wrong. You want to be the one that gets it right every time and makes life easy for the sound guy or girl 
your audience and also for the people who book you because you know what they'll book you again you get it wrong they may not book you again but i'd love to hear your comments so just put those below if you've got any other sort of additions put those below as well because i will just answer back It'd be great to hear from you and if you like what you saw today and you like what you heard today please subscribe for more share it and press the like button speak to you soon oh don't forget one more episode on sound checks and this is where the artist gets it right and the sound guy gets it right and there's lots to learn so speak to you soon bye